Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I am so excited to be bringing you a regular Project Life spread. This particular week is week 10 and it's from back in March. I'm going to start out with putting my photos where I think they're going to go for now and then I'm going to pick out some cards. I'm going to go through my stack of cards and pick some that I think might work. I'm going to go with a pink and blue and green color scheme for this week. So I'm making two piles. One pile for the ones that aren't going to work and then another pile for the ones that might work. And then I'm going to go from there. While I'm finishing up picking out the cards, I want to talk about what happened this week. It started out with me taking Maddie to Build-A-Bear to spend her birthday money. And I have a photo of the blooming trees. And then most of the rest of the photos are from Caitlin's birthday party. And we had that over the weekend and she also had a friend sleepover. So I snuck a photo of them playing Minecraft and that's the one that's in the top right hand corner. I'm going to finish up finalizing my journaling cards, which most of these are from my Studio Calico kits. I did use a few of them from the March kit. Okay, I've finished picking up my cards, and now I'm going to put some embellishments around. I have already picked some stuff out like those tags from clothing. We did some shopping for the kids that week, so I saved a couple of their tags from their clothes, and I'm gonna add that on to one of the journaling cards. The card that is next to it is going to be about Caitlin's birthday party and her birthday cake. So I've picked out a label, and I'm gonna stamp either the word party or cake later onto that label and I'm trying to figure out which word I want to use. I really did want to do party but it was a little too big so I'm gonna go with the word cake. I have a birthday set from Kelly Stamps that I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp the word cake onto that label. And then that card will be ready to put some journaling on it. Now, Caitlin's birthday, she wanted a Warrior Cats theme. And those are books. There's a book series. She did all the planning herself. And I just bought a few things here and there that she needed. And also helped her make the cake and get the things that she needed for her cake. Right now I'm putting a few embellishments on that white card that says evening view and I also put a little piece of washi tape and then I'm gonna add that little heart eye emoji sticker and then that one's ready for some journaling. Right now I'm going to see if I want to add this gold geotag onto the photo of the sunset. I'm going to leave it there for now and see what I think. I'm going to work on my title card and I thought about this for a while and tried a few different things out, but I couldn't find anything that I really liked to add on to my title card here. And so I'm just going to put the dates on using my date stamp. The date's going to go on either side of that little star that I picked out. I've got my title card done. I'm going to take one last look and just move on from here. Here's a little close-up view for you. I'm going to set it down and move on to 
my next card. I'm gonna do the one that has this small two by two photo of the birthday cake. I'm gonna get my photo down and then I'm going to add that green star underneath the photo there. And that star came from one of the Studio Calico kits. I can't remember which one. I wanna add the number 12 because it's her 12th birthday. So I put it on top of the photo and then on top of the star as well. And then I'm gonna add on one of these phrase stickers. I'm just trying to figure out what size I want and which one that I want to add. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it underneath the plastic so I can put the stickers on top of the plastic and still see what it looks like without ruining my photo. This is something I do often. You've seen it done before and now I'm ready to actually stick it on to the photo. I'm gonna add one more thing onto this card. I have this little stamp that has a little XO on it and I'm gonna stamp that a couple times onto the photo. Here's a closer look at how it all turned out in the end. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put those tags onto that plain card. I always like to add little things like this into my albums because they're really fun to look back on years from now. I'm going to leave all of the 4x6 photos alone and not add anything to them. Although I did add a digital brush to one of them and also a stamp to another. But the rest of them I'm going to leave plain. So that leaves just the 3x4 cards that need to be done. And as you can see I've added some journaling onto two of them. And the first one I'm gonna work on is the one that talks about me taking Maddie to build a bear. When we were there, I went ahead and was able to grab a box that they put gift cards in. And I cut out the little build a bear logo and I put it on top of that journaling card. And so I thought that was a really fun little touch that I could add on to there. Next up is that I'm going to add a few more of those gray word strips onto the last 3x4 photo. This photo is of the different territories that Caitlin made during the birthday party. And there's, I think, five clans of the warrior cats. And so we made up papers to go with the different rooms and which whichever clan it was and so I took a picture of that just to remember that that's what we did for the birthday party. The next card that I'm gonna work on is the one that talks about her actual birthday party and I've gone ahead and put some journaling on there and I just need to finish it off with putting that label that I already stamped the word cake on onto the top and then I think I grab one of the stars. Yes, I'm gonna add one of the stars on there and call that one done. I tried to stay sort of simple with this layout because I am so behind on my project life. And so we're gonna wrap up with a last stamp on the Build-A-Bear card. It says date and then I'm gonna add the date on there. And then I think I'm done. I do end up adding another star to the bottom of that card and then this week is now done. So stay tuned for some still photos and thank you guys so much for coming and for subscribing and all their comments and likes. I really appreciate it and I will see you guys next time. Bye!